Welcome to Imagination Station's Stay at Home Science. Today, we're going to investigate the water cycle from just inside this bag. For this activity, you'll need about one half cup of water, packing tape, a Ziploc bag, and a permanent marker. The water cycle is the path water takes as it moves on Earth. The water cycle has many different steps, including evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and collection. When water is warmed by the sun, it evaporates, meaning it becomes a gas that we call vapor. When air is heated by the sun, it rises, bringing the water vapor up with it. The air cools slowly as it rises until it is cool and saturated enough for the water vapor to condense from a gas to a liquid and form a cloud. Clouds are made up of tiny water droplets and ice crystals. When enough water condenses in the clouds, it falls back down to Earth's surface through precipitation, such as rain, snow, sleet, and hail. Water on Earth's surface collects in bodies of water, in the ground, and even in living things, such as plants and animals. Every water cycle bag doesn't have to look exactly the same. Create your own representation of the water cycle by writing and drawing something to help you remember each step, evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and collection. Once you're finished drawing the water cycle, pour about a half cup of water into your bag and seal. Use packing tape to hang it in a warm, sunny window. Over time, you'll begin to see condensation at the top of the bag. When enough condensation gathers at the top, it will form droplets that flow back down to the bottom of the bag. Be sure to snap a picture of your water cycle in a bag and share it to Imagination Station's Facebook page. If you like this activity and are interested in more stay-at-home science, be sure to visit ImaginationStationToledo.org. Visit us at ImaginationStationToledo.org.